Hi folks, Andy from The Car Boutique here and another brand review, this time looking at some products from Labo Cosmetica. Um, now we're looking at the sort of the last stage um, sort of piece in this, so we're looking at a bit of prep and then a last stage protection product, um, but the car is, is really, really nice. It doesn't need that much done in terms of preparation work. However, we will still be doing the same maintenance wash, the chemical decontamination. It doesn't need clade, which is great. Okay, so once we get it back into the garage, all is good. So I'm going to do the full uh, maintenance wash chemical decontamination piece um, before we sort of crack on into where the magic works in the garage. Now I've had a few people sort of say why do you continually show repeat um, shampooing and all that kind of stuff. Well a couple of reasons. Firstly the industry is quite crit critical um, and I want to make sure that I tell you everything that I do to get the final finish and it is just uh, the preparation piece is just as important as the products we use at the end. So I'm proving to you the full sequence from start to finish to get the end results, all right? Now I'm gonna do it on fast mode because I don't wanna bore you. The main focus is gonna be on the Labo Cosmetica products, all right? But that's my rationale for always showing you the wash sequence at the start because it proves I've done it. And if anyone is new to um, sort of uh, detailing, it shows you what the process is. So that constant repetition of the key fundamental prep pieces, I think is very, very important. So I'm gonna put it on fast mode. I'm just gonna show you the wash sequence. We will have done chemical decontamination before we get in. And then uh, we're gonna have some fun with these Labo Cosmetica products, which I have researched and they look really um, high-end products so hopefully we're going to get some great results on this lovely Mini Cooper. Okay folks, that's it brought inside and dried off and I'm sure you can see it looks absolutely lovely. I am falling in love with this car. Absolutely beautiful car. Wasn't a big fan of the old style minis, but this thing, retro, sporty, it's got all the ingredients for a car that I really like. So. We're now on to um, the Labo Cosmetica products. Now, um, we've done all the uh, chemical fallout. It does not need clay. The paintwork isn't too bad, which is good. Um, so we're on to the sort of prep stage to using the actual LSP. So we're gonna look at, I think it's uh, referred to as veneer, okay? Now, before I go on, um, this is not a sponsored video. The Car Boutique purchased all these products. In fact, all the products on this video have been purchased by the, uh, the Car Boutique from Clean and Shiny, who stopped the full Labo Cosmetica range. So, veneer, I'm gonna read it straight off, all right, because it sounds a, a pretty, pretty impressive product. Um, I'm gonna test it all out. So, um, veneer, it is a glass sealant and primer booster for the 
Cupido, which we're ultimately going to put on that last stage protection. So it's a glaze and primer, uh, dual function, finishing polish. So it's got those very, very micro abrasives. It's just going to sort of, you know, um, take off those, those really light swirls, hopefully, and that's going to enhance gloss um, and significantly improves the gloss, but it's also a primer to be applied before the actual Cupido to enhance the performance of the sealant. Ultra fine abrasives, sophisticated resins, and grip enhancer improve the gloss, enhancing the depth of dark colours, highlighting the mirror lock effect, etc. Quick and easy to use, you can do it uh, manually or a, a dual action. Um, creates deep brilliance and mirror-like effect, also covering small scratches and leaves no resins on rubber or plastic parts. On that subject, um, I'm not going to tape up the whole car. What I done, have done is I've taped up the decals because I don't want to damage them. And like I always do if I'm applying any resin commander or anything like that, I've typed, um, taped up the actual windscreen nozzles so I don't want any product getting in there and stopping the windscreen um, um, uh, system working. Okay, so that's a top tip for everyone. Right, okay. So all I'm going to do here is um, I've got my dual action. Um, I'm going to use the mini Bigfoot for the majority of this. I've got the softest pad I have, which is a finishing um, pad, and I'm going to use their Perfector, which is their quick detail, literally just as a primer for the pad. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of uh, sort of blobs on, all right, piece side blobs on, and I'm going to work small, small areas, all right. Now, the top tip with this is do not, because you're using a dual action polisher, think it's like compounding when you're ramping it up sort of the four or five. I won't go um, as far as to say this is sort of a dueling um, operation, but I'm going to be setting my, my polisher to round about two. I think the recommendation is between one and three, so it's a slow speed. So it's all about finesse, all right? You, although it does have those micro abrasives, you're not really using this as a compound, you're just using it as a final prep, okay, to give the best sort of paint condition for the actual last stage protection, but you've got all the benefits of the glaze and all that kind of stuff, all right? So I'm gonna be using this on a, on a, a one or a two, probably a two. If I have to go up for the bigger panels to the big foot, I will, but exactly the same um, um, process. Softest pad I can find, nice slow speed, couple of blobs, work in small areas, and wipe off any excess with a cloth. I'll do the car all the way around and see um, what kind of enhancement it's got. So my, my mindset is quickly glaze, fills in a bit of micro scratches. You've got the micro braces to maybe remove some of the micro scratches, okay, and you're you're prepping this for the best adhesion, okay, the Cupido, Cupido can get as well. So let's crack on. Okay, folks, that's us finished with veneer. And as you can see, the car looks stunning. Now, this product has impressed me a lot. This is a game changer. Um, this by far is one of the best products I have put on a polishing pad. Yes, you can do it manually. Okay, it's just gonna take you a, a long time. It goes on super easily. It spreads easily. It gives you so much work time. It just never goes dry. There is no dust and the final effect on the paintwork is superb. All those micro scratches that are induced by washing and drying have all gone. 
Now, yes, that's going to be a combination of the micro abrasives, micro abrasives and the glaze. However, I did go uh, around afterwards with a um, panel wipe to see if it was the glaze masking the scratches and the scratches have gone. So this is a finishing polish or just uh, if you want to go around and get rid of all those swirls, it is fantastic. It is super, super, super good. It doesn't get rid of the uh, deep um, scratches. That's for compounding and all that kind of stuff. Okay, but absolutely love it. Um, absolute game changer. Now, the one thing I will not endorse, however, is the suggestion that it's sort of plastic safe. Now, in my experience on this car, on this plastic, I did go over onto the plastic and not realise it come back later and it had sort of temporarily stained it white. I had to then go around with a plastic restorer pressed quite hard to get rid of it. Okay, so I'm not endorsed that aspect of it, but as a, a see, uh, you know, sealant, primer, glaze, and um, light sort of polish, absolutely fantastic. Really, really, really impressed. Okay, that's enough of me bigging that up. Okay, we are now gonna go on to the last stage protection. So we're gonna look at the next product from Labo Cosmetica. Okay, folks, we're on to Cupido, Cupido, which is their nano composite sealant. An interesting product, this. I'll read out um, the descriptions um, straight off Clean and Shiny's website. So, Cupido is a unique nano composite, composite sealant. Its formula formulation is the bridge between a nano ceramic product and a traditional sealant. So I sort of see this as a I don't know, a, a, a ceramic light, okay, a lighter version of a full-blown ceramic. Um, the polymetric matrix generated by Cupido has a stretch comparable to a flexible elastomer that can anchor and adhere to the surface protecting against abrasions caused by mechanical actions like washing, etc. It uh, generates a physical and chemical barrier. Um, it can be applied on top of other sealants or nano waxes to maintain them. And it's also recommended on super hydrophobic nano flora polymer protections, which are usually subject to water spot phenomena. So you're making use of the hydrophobics um, and you know, if you've got already got some protection, you can use this just to enhance the hydrophobics um, to stop the water spots on what's um, sort of vulnerable beneath. Um, creates deep gloss. Yes, it does. Okay, um, you're going to see that, um, and provides an excellent anti-static self-cleaning ability, similar to a ceramic coating. Um, computer we're going to extend it from uh, between five and nine months. Uh, we'll talk about longevity at the uh, the end. All right. Now, um, this is an um, an interesting product because it might give you options if you want to sort of bridge between waxes, and sealants, and full blown ceramics. You may want to try this. Um, but let's um, let's go and show you how you, how to use it. It's nice and simple, um, and then we'll see um, where we can take this car in terms of the aesthetics because it already looks superb. So let's go and have a play. Okay, so application is nice and easy. If you haven't used your pad, just get the perfecter, give your pad a quick spritz. And you're applying this exactly the same as you're applying a ceramic coating um, in terms of the timings and all that kind of stuff. So you just do a small panel at a time. Um, if you do too big a panel or leave this on too quickly, it can be a bit grabby to remove. But if you do exactly what I'm doing, so sort of a two by two, do your cross hatch. You can clearly see where the product is. So try and get it as level as you can. Once you've done that, get yourself a sort of shortish pile, microfiber, and all you're doing with this one is just leveling it so you don't get any high spots. And at this point, you'll see a little bit of the product still left behind, but everything's nice and even. And then you get your plush microfiber and buff, and you'll see the remainder of any product just come off straight away. And it is as easy as that. So do not leave it too long. It does get grabby and a bit problematic. So apply, cross hatch. Go for your microfiber, gentle running over just to reduce high spots, level it, get your plush one and buff to a superb finish. It's as easy as that. Okay, let's do the rest of the car.
So there we go, folks, all done. That was absolutely eff effortless. So uh, top tip when you are using that cu Cupido or Cupido, um, make sure, like I said on the intro when we started this bit of the process, um, small panels and level it while it's still wet. If you let it dry, it becomes problematic. Now the golden rule I do in terms of um, di di dictating how big an area is, if I physically have to move myself, it's too big an area. So just what's accessible in one position. So the car is looking absolutely stunning. Okay, now, like I said right at the start, this isn't a sponsored video. Um, however, all these products um, are available at Clean and Shiny. Now, it's not for me to say what you, uh, what you should buy. I'm not a social influencer or anything like that, but I highly, highly recommend you give these three a go. Um, depending when, when you're watching this, they do have a sale on at the moment. Okay, so if you're seeing this in the next few days, maybe that sale's still on, get yourself along. Okay, but if you're gonna get it, get all three, all right? The veneer is a game changer. The Cupido is a fantastic product, so easy, okay? You spray on, you level it, you wipe off, all, all you know, there's no curing times and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna leave this for a few hours, that's why I'm not doing a hydrophobicity test or anything like that. And the longevity, with this um, sort of regime is between five and eight months depending on your wash regime and how and all the other variables um, that affect longevity. If you are going to buy these two I would get the Perfecta Quick QD as well. It's a great all-rounder QD. Um, I use this to prime my pads and also where I did leave some dried um, sort of polish um, a quick spray of this and it removes it. All right so the three of them work so well together. And that's all I'm going to say, okay? Um, we're going to have a quick whip round at the moment while it's inside. If it stops raining, I will take it out for a whip round as well. And I'm sure you agree, this Mini looks absolutely stunning. Not so much to do with my knowledge of the processes. These products are why that, that, that vehicle looks so good. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you've used any of these products yourself, uh, leave a comment. And I look forward to doing the next review, whatever that is.